Hi, my name is Henry Segerman. This is Powered Triple Gear. This is joint work with Saul Schleimer. So what's going on here? There's a box which has a power lead and inside of the box there is a motor and the motor is powering this uh, axle in the middle. It's a helical screw gear and that uh, gears into the inner teeth of the triple gear and the triple gear is sitting on as a sort of cradle uh, that keeps it in place and uh, with this setup it can just um, keep going forever and uh, you don't have to worry about your own manual dexterity to get it to go. Um, so the, uh, the initial prototyping for, for getting this uh, motor to work is due to Adrian Goldwasser and then uh, lots more prototyping in the final build uh, is uh, by Stuart Young. So thanks to them. Um, so, so here are the pieces. So there's, there's the um, the axle just has these helical screw gears and there's a there's a five millimeter diameter hole in the bottom which is where the shaft of the motor goes into here and then uh, the base is the triple gear sitting on the base cradle um, looks like this and this uh, keeps it in place um, it has a tendency to well if you put the thing the the axle in here you can make it go Oops, one way or another. If you just hold it, it just works. Um, but we found that if uh, if this is just sitting on a flat table, then there's a tendency for the the axle to rotate and the whole gear to rotate just with it, not doing the, the interesting motion um, where all the gears turn independently. Um, so this goes through here, this sits on here, and then um, and just rotate this thing and off it goes. Um, it also works because it's a helix. Um, it's uh, the rotation and uh, translation uh, effect on the shape is the same so you, you can in fact do it just by pushing as well. Um, so along with uh, this version of it, um, so I also made um, just the axle on its own so you can play with uh, just turning it yourself. See. If it's not quite in position, then you can't get the, uh, the axle to go through. So there you go. So so you can just uh, have it run down like this, or you can um, hold the outside and move the the axle through it, or if you screw the axle. And this has the same effect. So you can just put it on the table and hold it to stop it from from rotating. So there it is. That's that's what it wants to do. But if I just put a finger against it, then it uh, then it rotates the way that it's supposed to. Um, so I also have, so this is this is uh, just over 15 centimeters long version of the axle, and here's a uh, just over 30 centimeters long version of the axle. Um, and this one uh, is particularly good for holding it um, vertically and letting it run down. And uh, it turns out that there's actually three different ways in which it wants to um, in which it wants to fall down the axle. Um, so one of the ways it wants to do, depending on the friction and how worn in uh, the uh, the gear and the axle are, it either does this sort of flipping motion. Um, or it will just spin spiraling down the axle um, where, with the gears not rotating relative to each other, or it will actually do what it's supposed to do. Um, so there's sort of three different ways in which it, it goes. Um, so this is powered triple gear.